Hello everyone, welcome to my Sister Wives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. When Sister Wives fans met Christine Brown's new husband, David Woolley, he'd addressed the demise of his late wife. Then as a widower, he became the single parent of their eight children. But now, just as their ecstatic union heirs, fresh information has come to light regarding devastating details involving his late wife. David Woolley's late wife Margaret Undeniably, Margaret's sister, Debbie, states, she loved her kids more than anything. But the U.S. Sun adds that the family was aware that David Woolley's first wife Margaret was dealing with depression. Before her sad loss in 2012, David and Margaret were in a marriage for 22 years. According to Margaret's obituary, she was charitable, loving, and caring to family and friends. They also mentioned that she had compassion to help others. Tragic Details Regarding David Woolley's Late Wife Through the Freedom of Information Act, the U.S. Sun requested information about David Woolley's late wife's passing. Then, they acquired evidence from the police report that indicated the death was by suicide. In the article, Margaret Lucille Sulian Woolley died in 2012 at the age of 43. On June 20, the housekeeper spotted her after she missed the checkout time frame. Additionally, the report indicates Utah's Lee City Police found her in a motel room comatose and she was not breathing. Police arrived and found bottles of medications and beer on the spot. Afterward, the investigation deemed her death a suicide by overdose. David Woolley attempts to locate Margaret. After numerous friends received suicidal texts from her, and then she terminated the discussions, Lehigh police became involved. On June 19, Margaret was marked by the police as a suicide risk and every effort was made to preserve her life. Reportedly, David Woolley was anxious and had been attempting to call her phone all night to locate her. Additionally, officers searched for her to offer a welfare check. They added Margaret to the National Crime Information Center as missing. Margaret's Suicide Letter Although the facts of why she took her life are unclear, she left her family a message. Within the note, she alleges there were signs of abuse and claimed loved ones turned their backs on her. Additionally, she writes, I was just a misunderstood, misguided, lost soul who wasn't strong enough to stand alone against all the evil souls who broke me. Although apologizing to the children for her statements, she left a damaging message for David. About who she felt he was a decade ago, she adds, You took everything and anything good in me and broke it with your controlling, manipulative ways. Then adding, please be a better father than you could ever be as a husband. An insider close to David Woolley gives insight. At the time, a copy of the very harsh note was delivered to David by the police. However, he did not chose to read it with everything he was processing exactly at the moment. According to the U.S. Sun, a close source said David Woolley was not ashamed by anything, then says he believes it's a note and that's all it is. The source also elaborates, when people are depressed, they can say a lot of things, and gently includes, and when someone's on their deathbed dying, they're going to say a lot of things. The family struggles through revisiting Margaret's death. Admittedly, Margaret's sister, Debbie, also says, really, the only thing I have to say is mental illness is a real problem in this country, and that it's super important that people get help. Continuing heartbreakingly, we all loved my sister and she loved her kids very much. Undoubtedly, this must be a horrific resurrection of anguish for the family who has already lost their mother, and his sibling, and David Woolley who lost his wife. On Reddit, one Sister Wives fan commented, That's so sad, I didn't know that. I watched the See All episode where David was introduced, and when he was asked what made him fall for Christine, something along those lines, he stated he could see she was a woman who loves life. I thought that was such a fantastic response, but there was a deeper message behind it, and that makes me so sad. What do you think about the letter that David Woolley's wife left behind? Sister Wives star Kobe Brown has become widely renowned for his terrible behavior and nasty attitude. He had a nasty breakup from his third wife, Christine Brown, 
in 2021. The duo broke their spiritual union after struggling to stay on the same page. Christine had different expectations with her polygamous spouse, and they lacked romanticism. Things started falling apart between the pair when Robin became Cody's favorite wife. The latter's behavior changed completely since his divorce. Cody has a lot of resentment and aggravation over his third wife for breaking his polygamous setup. The reality TV celebrity has become a villain in front of viewers for injuring his wife and bad-mouthing them. However, his latest behavior startled supporters after he expressed some warm words for Christine. Sister Wives Cody receives love for his changed attitude. Cody Brown has been recuperating from his three straight divorces. He looks angry and cranky all the time during season 18. The Sister Wives star has been accusing all his exes of breaking up his polygamous arrangement. However, the audience were startled to observe his changed attitude in Christine and David's wedding special programs. Recently, the producers asked him about his views on his ex's marriage. Cody revealed that he knows about Christine's wedding with his new love of life because he met David, but he was curious to witness the notice of her wedding at his sister's residence. However, he had no issues with his third wife going on in her life. The Sister Wives star continued, I'm really fine. I'm resolved with it. Our relationship ended, Cody explained. She made the accusation that I had. Before Robin stopped him off in the middle, she stated, Aren't we just so happy for them? We're just so pleased for them, right? That's what we want. But he didn't stop and proceeded to share his story. Cody remembered how his ex-wife used to tell their children that their dad had found his soulmate. Hence, she went ahead to hunt out for her partner, too. Cody was delighted at the idea that Christine had been blissfully moving on. Fans were startled to observe Cody's changing attitude. Several Redditors raved over Cody on being truly pleased for his ex and expressing some sweet comments. Sister Wives Cody admits his wedding with Christine was lackluster. Cody Brown welcomed his third wife, Christine Brown, in a spiritual ceremony. He was already married to Mary and Janelle before that. Recently, he revealed that his marriage with his third wife was everything but amazing. He told the producers, my wedding to Christine was lackluster. The TLC star added that he had a 1,000-yard stare, and the other sister wives were not really in their finest emotional state. He went ahead to explain that his first two wives, Janelle and Mary, were not close to Christine at that time. Hence, it was an unpleasant wedding day for the ex-pair. He said, it wasn't a great day, before adding that he was thrilled about his ex's wife's wedding with David. Cody stated, I hope that Christine has a great day with her wedding. Sister Wives star Christine Brown is already Mrs. David Woolley and viewers are now able to see her wedding day on TV. Her enormous massive wedding got documented in a two-part special piece, and fans aren't able to get enough of it. The highlighted version has also documented Christine's loved ones talking about their true feelings regarding her. This included her adored father, Rex Allred. What does he have to say? Was he happy? Sister Wives Christine's father shares his opinion on Cody and David. Christine Brown was clear that she wanted her father to be a part of the wedding at whatever costs. She revealed that Rex witnessed her walk down the aisle with Cody. So, the sister wife Celeb wanted him to see her exchanging vows with David as well. Christine admitted that her father's health hadn't been up to the standard. Hence, she decided to have a modest wedding so that Rex would be able to cope if in case he was having a terrible day. As to the account, Peyton was the one who crossed the significant distance and walked Christine down the aisle. Then he passed his mother to Rex, who then covered the remainder. After this, the latter confessed about his genuine views concerning Christine's marriage. Rex warned Christine that the forthcoming years would be way different than her last 20 years. He then pointed to Cody and stated, He was just bawling. I can't believe I lost her. Sister Wives viewers were in astonishment and liked the patriarch's sarcasm. Rex also convinced Christine that David was a good man. He dubbed his son-in-law a wonderful man and said, You're going to be treated good for a very long time. 
The side cast member further remarked, I'm telling ya, he loves you a much. It's very neat. Christine also looked to be glad that Rex was in support of David. She was delighted with what her father stated and nodded. Sister wives, was Christine's mother happy? What does she think? Sister wives viewers are well aware of how Christine shared an estranged relationship with her mother for a substantial portion of her life. She terminated all her relations with Annie when the latter decided to become a part of anti-polygamist actions. Several sources have revealed that Annie was never in support of Christine heading for a plural marriage lifestyle. This is because she herself had a failed experience of the same and didn't want her kid to suffer. But when it comes to David, it was apparent that Annie was in full favor. She seemed to be incredibly thrilled and passionately attended the entire event. During a recent sneak peek from Christine's wedding special, Annie was featured talking to her granddaughters. It appeared to be right before the ceremony when she was sobbing happy tears and acknowledged that she was excited for Christine's big day. So, it is apparent that both Christine's mother and father were backing her when it came to getting married to David. They believed that it was the correct decision for their daughter. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.